This tutorial is for the crease tool in Artisan. Now creasing by itself doesn't do anything. Uh, what it does is it actually works with the sub, uh, subdivide and smooth tool or the smooth selection tool. And what it does is it marks uh, vertices or edges as creased and that will basically once you uh, smooth them out um, they will maintain a hard edge or vertex. So I'll show you some examples of how it works. First I'll show you what happens if we don't use the crease tool on some of these uh, some of this geometry. Select everything and um, apply the subdivide smooth tool and that's the result if we don't crease anything. But what if we wanted to have um, keep the same cylindrical shape but um, also but refine it so we have a um, higher resolution and better curvature here. Well to do that we'll go into the crease tool this icon here and what I'll do is I'll click on an edge or a series of edges here and now it's highlighted green. Every, every edge I've clicked is highlighted green and those edges are marked as creased. So those will be hard edges once I apply the subdivide and smooth tool. So let's see what happens. Select everything, subdivide and smooth. And now you can see what happens. Do that on the bottom face as well. In this case, I will uh, just click once on the face and the entire series of edges is now highlighted showing that the entire all, all the edges of that face that I clicked on are now marked as creased so that's just a shortcut you can use to uncrease uh, a series of edges or vertices uh, hold down the shift key and then click and it's now not it's not highlighted anymore and it's not creased so again, I'll crease that, select everything, subdivide and smooth, and now we have a cylinder that is much more uh, smooth, higher resolution, um, and smoother than before. Now I will show you an example of uh, creasing a vertex. Here I've already creased it. Uh, you can see uh, any vertex that's creased is also highlighted in green as a, as a green dot. Uh, and also holding down shift will uncrease it. So first I'll show you it without any creasing. So if that's not what we're looking for, We'll undo that. And now I will crease that top vertex. Oops. Click on this face to also crease that. Try again. And now that top vertex that I creased is now locked. It, it does not move if I use the subdivide and smooth tool. No matter how many iterations I, I use. Another shortcut you can do when you're using this tool is you can um, drag, cl uh, click and drag over your edges in your model and that will also mark them as creased. So it's a, uh, here I'm just clicking and dragging and you can see how you can quickly highlight the uh, several faces, or sorry, several edges and vertices to uh, crease them that way. Makes it a little bit easier. Uh, one way to get used to what the crease tool does is um, go into proxy editing mode. Here I've got a group and subdivide and smooth and now I'm in proxy mode. As I'm editing it I can you can use the crease tool, click on uh, vertices or edges and you can get immediate feedback on what the crease tool is doing. So it uh, it's just a good way to learn how the tool works. Uncreased.
increase. Oops. Increase. Another use of this tool is for when you're using the smooth selection tool. Here's an example you might run into if you're doing some landscape architecture. You might have two separate meshes here and you want to keep this seam together but yet you want this uh, mesh on the left to be smoothed out. So if you just select everything, go to the smooth selection tool and now this uh, interface here that was previously uh, connected or collinear um, is now ripping apart here as you can see and the uh, vertices that you may not want moved are now moving as you're as you're using this operation so what I'll do I'll undo that I'll try again with now using the crease tool but this time I'm actually not going to use the crease tool I'm going to use uh, another feature that's activated only through the uh, artisan menu and that is uh, called the crease selection tool And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crease all of the boundary edges and vertices so that they're locked into place. So when I do the subdivide selection operation, nothing will move and we'll maintain this seam here. So just go to Tools, Artisan. Well, first I have to select the geometry by mistake. So I'm going to select this boundary edge just using the Window Select feature in SketchUp. Okay, so I've now selected the entire boundary edge. Now go to Tools, Artisan, Crease Selection. A uh, dialog pops up. We can either crease or uncrease the selection. In this case, we want edges and vertices to be uh, locked or creased. Press OK. Now select everything again smooth selection and that's what we want to see everything stays together here all the boundary edges and vertices are locked and we've maintained our continuity between these two meshes